Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. The full time whistle is blown of trying to escape the rain. It's still lashing it down now, well, drizzling now. Uh, on the way back to the car after that 2 0 win over Burnley. Now then, it should have and could have been more. Really, half time, it should have been three or four already, to be honest. I mean, you look back, you see Isaac's had one cleared off the line. That Trafford came out and closed people down sometimes, made some the odd save, but I just think a bit wasteful at times uh, in and around the final third. But I tell you what, I'm not going to complain. I think it's another great result. It's another three points. It's another clean sheet. And Newcastle continue to move up the league. You look at now, we're eighth and we're only a few points off top four. After that disaster start of the season that everyone was seeing, we've had three Premier League wins in a row now. Clean sheets as well. And we are getting back to our best. I thought Bruno Gimaraes was back at his best again today. Trippier was solid again. And like I said about the, the Premier League table, is the fact that the results have definitely gone our way today. Man United beaten at home by Crystal Palace. Manchester City beaten away by Wolves. By Wolves 2-1. Luton got their first win as well. Away at Everton in, in a different story. But I, if you look at that, if you look around there, teams in and around us losing. Spurs and Liverpool about to kick off soon. So it's an interesting one, but Newcastle got their job done today. And that was the most important thing. We got the business done and it was never in doubt, really was it. That was such an easy day at the office. Comfortable, composed win. Uh, and again, that we dominated from the opening five minutes, I thought. You know, we were always in control, always in charge. Easy. Even for like the legs of the cells, it was just a nice passing around. Bailey, I was, I was, I'm not disappointed by them. I'm pleased with it. Thanks very much. But I thought they were poor and they could have showed a lot more. I really do. I thought, you know, Vincent Company's been getting a lot of plaudits, mainly from the Championship last season where they flew out of that league and were playing brilliant football. They tried to do the same again this year when they've been promoted. Hasn't worked out for them, but there was nothing I've seen from them today where I thought, ah, that's a nice style of player, that's good. Or the players were, they are Championship level really, aren't they? And they'll struggle to stay, but they may just be one of two teams worse than them that will keep them up but realistically they are definitely going to be in a dogfight all season um, Burnley because apart from that number 30 who did cause a few problems Pacey little winger had Dan Byrne on toast the first 20 minutes or so then Byrne kind of dealt with them Newcastle came back in the midfield helped them out I thought uh, Sean Longstaff was fantastic today you know really putting in that the extra yard, that shift, closing people down. Like I said, Bruno as well. Anthony Gordon yet again. Anthony Gordon yet again, just tremendous. Honestly, the energy from him, the pace, the problems he brings to their side. And obviously he wins the penalty for Newcastle. You know, you're thinking it was a bit soft maybe, um, that it might go to VR, but on the, on the looking back at it, it was a penalty. He did, doesn't get the ball, the Bernie defender. Gordon goes down and that seals the 2-0 win after after Almiron opened it up for Newcastle and we needed that bit of quality I thought because we're struggling to really cause a massive threat or have those chances at goal to be so clear before Almiron did score I thought Miggy's wonder strike what a strike that is poor from Burnley letting him cut inside on his left you know that's his strength well, they didn't and he played in the paid for it you know he was very very good today as well Miggy Almiron Gordon will get the headlines again but Almiron I thought was brilliant even right at the end he was coming in deep getting the ball building up play and Almiron was quality and he had the goal at the match you know what a finish curling away from the young Trafford keeper he's never ever going to save that and uh, that gave us the one the lead and to be fair it was cosy from then but you always thought you know you need that second or third goal to kill the game off because you never know Burnley can just come out of nowhere and snatch it an undeserved equaliser but thankfully that was not the case and we go on and get all three points like I said an easy day at the office one of those ones where you know a lot of fans are confident because it's a newly promoted side and the thing over oh, well, last week were hammered Sheffield United there's always that potential there for a banana skin, but thankfully that was not the case. And uh, we cruised to victory, absolutely cruised to that win today. Like I say, it was never in doubt. Um, other things that happened in the game, it was essentially just Newcastle passing about the, the park, to be fair, and then creating the odd chance. And they keep us saving it or us fluffing it. Maybe I remember Longstaff had a header over the bar, but overall, very good performance from Newcastle, solid. And the main thing is getting the results, because listen, it's a very quick turnaround from. City just a few days ago to the next game PSG on Wednesday so it's important you turn up in these Premier League games and get the win get the points on the board and we've done that so we can be happy with that one negative to take out the game was Joe Linton coming off injured 
He came on as a substitute, lasted about 40 seconds. Never mean he's, 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 uh, he only cost 40 million, he only lasted 40 seconds. Do you know what I mean? It was like 40 seconds run out for Joe Linton. Devastated for him, he looked good when he pulled up and had to go off. He had to come off straight away, Tonali comes on, he had some decent touches in there as well. I think if Newcastle wanted to do, they could have really stepped it up a notch and, and easily got four. I said four on the preview, which, like I said, it should have been probably three or four half time. And even after we score that penalty and the second goes in, I think there's still 10, 15 minutes to go and we could go on and win that game. Three, four, five. But, you know, we kind of just laboured through it and, and took a foot off the gas. You can understand that because, like I say, we've got an absolutely ginormous night on Wednesday. Massive against Paris Saint-Germain, the Champions League. The likes of them back there coming to tune. So, we'll brush away, Burnley. See you later. And then we're going to... Uh, Crack on with the big guns on Wednesday, but vital that Newcastle got the win the day they did that. It was comfortable, it was productive, and it was a, a sound result, sound day out. Good, good performance. That let me know what you think. Anyways, I'm going to get off now. I've got a win reception to go to, get out of this rain, get back home, and uh, yeah, look forward to Wednesday. Make sure you tune in to my channel TV, subscribe if you haven't already for all the European content coming your way. I've got a match day vlog of today's events coming your way at night as well. So keep an eye out for that. Let us know what you thought of the game in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next one.